Lucian Episodes Emergence is the first of a series of planned episodic content developed by Ritual Games and released in 2006 as a sequel of sorts to their 1998 title, Sin. It's ended up as something of a swan song for the now defunct development team, yet despite its short length and basic gameplay, it still does have its finer points. The player once again controls John Blade, the badass trash-talking protagonist from the prequel, as he sets out to stop the evil conglomerate Syntech from doing all the typical evil shit you'd expect a large conglomerate to do. More specifically, he's after Alexa Sinclair herself. I mean, who wouldn't be after her, right? The ending cinematic for Sin left things a little bit ambiguous. Alexis escaped Blade in the nick of time and seemingly vanished into thin air, which in turn makes the intro to Emergence a little bit jarring. What the? The targets have vanished. The radar's clear. She's gone, Blade. She's gone. No way! The crazy bitch got away. The game opens as you're strapped into a table with little to no explanation as to how you got there, whilst Alexis hovers over you with her ridiculously sized rack talking in metaphors and indicating how she just injected Blade with something. Shortly after that, you're rescued by an Alex Vance wannabe named Jessica and escape into the source engine rendered world of Freeport to hunt down answers and a man named Radic, a drug cartel leader working in league with Alexis. Get my sub ready. Now, I remember playing this when it first came out and absolutely hating it, basically because the game used a unique difficulty concept where the game adapts and changes variables to match your playstyle. The concept is if things are going too easy or hard, the game will change accordingly. However, when this first came out, it was bugged to shit. Meaning that you could get to a certain point where the enemies would obliterate you and the difficulty wouldn't readjust itself and just stay insanely hard. They've since fixed this, but this bug is a testament to the fact that adapting difficulty modes just don't work. What does work, though, is pretty much everything else the game has to offer. As far as shooters go, Emergence is more than competent at what it does. Weapons handle well, feel powerful, headshots are satisfying, and the Source Engine allows for some cool physics and particle effects. The Source Engine also utilizes the facial animation technology to make characters much more animated than you would expect. I may not be a shining example of Freeport citizenry, but I always try to maintain some sense of decency. You got three weapons throughout the entire game, a pistol, shotgun, and an assault rifle, and they all suit different situations. In regards to things to shoot at, there's only four or five enemy types, and most of these you've probably seen a hundred times. The only real worthy addition is the minigun toting heavy soldiers that inexplicably explode in a shower of bones and blood when they die, and that is cool as shit. It's not a fantastic looking game, and it takes a lot of visual cues from Half-Life, but it does stand apart with its own artistic interpretations of what you'd expect from the typical dystopian city, and for the most part, it's an enjoyable ride. South corner of fuck and you. Yet, still, I have two major complaints with this game. Firstly, Blade himself has gone from being a wise-ass to completely mute. Now, the only explanation here is that they didn't have the budget to record his lines, or maybe they just thought it was better not to. Either way, this has a seriously negative impact on the overall experience. Secondly, and this is just my opinion here, but I'm not too fond of how blatantly titillating the game is, the two female characters are way too over-sexualized. I mean, Alexis has her tits literally falling out of her top. And Jessica's juxtaposed G-string straps feel like blatant fan service to lonely teenage boys. Using Alex Vance as a comparison, someone Jessica is obviously influenced from, we can see that she's still got a lot of sex appeal, yet they managed to pull it off while keeping her costume and appearance practical within the environment and setting. Jessica, on the other hand, is commonly engaged in heavy combat with Syntec troops and just has her entire midriff exposed to show off her toned stomach. Get your mind out of the gutter, Blade whilst her ass is further accentuated by the underwear straps that peek out from her low-rise pants. Now look, don't get me wrong, I like tits and ass as much as the next guy, but this sort of thing just comes off a little crude sometimes. Oh, Blade. You think I'm such a naughty... There's a sequence with Alexis that can only be described as Blade's wet dream, and it's way over the top. I'm a visionary, Blade. But hey, I mean, if that kind of thing tickles your fancy, then I guess that's fine. What's the matter? Afraid? Worrying over what's pumping through your veins. The only other real downside to this game is that it was made as something of a prologue, so content across the board is pretty minimal. We get a lot of hints at things to come, which will ultimately be left unresolved. There's a slow-mo mechanic that they didn't quite implement properly, for instance, as well as lots of ATM terminals in certain areas that I assume you would have been able to hack in the later games. Story-wise, I would have thought that Blade would eventually turn into one of those mutant creatures, as Alexis commonly refers to the injection as bringing out his beastly side, 
but I guess ultimately we'll never know. Emergence would have been a really good start to what I thought was going to be a fantastic revival to one of my favourite game series. As it stands, it's a slightly unfulfilling experience that ends when it just starts to get interesting. However, for its dirt cheap price, it still just might be worth checking out if you're one of those FPS fans, like myself, who just has to play everything. And if nothing else, it's definitely got enough TNA to keep you hooked. I will change the world.